Hello and welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. I am your teacher Chris and today I have 5 minutes on my timer like that and I'm going to answer your questions in 5 minutes. Uh, you've given me lots of questions during the last two weeks on Facebook and on YouTube. I've put them into this little bag here. I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to try and answer them for you. Great practice for your oral comprehension skills. Okay, question number one. Uh, are you going to do advanced lessons for your new series of videos? Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, for those of you that have not seen my new series, uh, it's called Zero to Hero and uh, there's a new lesson every two days on this channel and on my website with uh, extras like um, reading comprehension exercises, uh, mp3s to listen to, many different things. Um, and at the moment I'm at the beginner level. We do 10 lessons uh, per level and uh, when was it? Today I'm going to do lesson number... No, tomorrow I'm going to do lesson number seven. I get confused with so many videos. Um, yes, but I will get to the advanced level. So don't worry, every lesson is getting a little bit more difficult each time. Um, and the 10th lesson of each level will be a revision test, which is great. Even if you are an advanced level, maybe go back and do the revision tests too. Uh, they're really good practice. Okay, thank you for that question. We will get to advance though because the series is called Zero to Hero. So we're going all the way through from the very basic level, the A1 level, all the way through to the C1 level. Okay, uh, next question. Okay. Can you help me? I need 750 in the TOEIC exam. What advice do you have? Ah, the TOEIC exam. Uh, for those of you that are not familiar with the TOEIC exam, um, it is a super popular exam to test your English level. Very long exam. There are, it's two and a half hours long um, and it's divided into two parts. There's uh, a listening part and there's a reading part. Um, I used to be an examiner for the TOEIC exam. I had my TOEIC license. So I do know a little bit about this TOEIC exam. So this is a good question for me, thank you. Um, the maximum score for the TOEIC is 990. That's the best possible score you can get because the listening part is worth 495 marks and the reading part is worth 495 marks. Um, it is a test of multiple choice questions. Uh, the listening, listening part, for example, um, the first part, they show you a photo. Uh, it might be a photo of a man in a restaurant, for example, and they explain what is happening in that photo and they give you three different choices and you have to choose what the man is doing. You look at the photo and you listen to what you hear. Um, the accents are different and they can be difficult. They do not use just an American accent or just a British accent, etc. They will use Indian accents, Asian accents, non-native speaker accents. Um, to really test your listening skills. So it is not easy. Um, in the listening section, they only play the audio one time. So you have to really, really listen carefully. Um, so my advice to you to get this 750 score is to really practice your listening skills. Me personally, I think it was the most difficult part of the test the listening test. Uh, so I would recommend um, listening to podcasts, things like this, and really trying to understand what they are saying and listen to different accents. Um, listen to my videos about co different conversation videos I have. Uh, listen to me 
without looking at the text. Just try and listen to what I'm saying. Um, the reading part of the test is also, oh, that's my five minutes, <laughs> which is funny because the part I was just about to talk about, the reading part, time management is super, super important. Not like me with my five minute Fridays where I run out of time very quickly. Um, you really have to concentrate on your time management. When I was an examiner of the TOEIC exam, so many of the students ran out of time before they finished. And they were so disappointed when I said, five minutes to go and then we have to stop. And everybody has to put their pen down. So many people had not finished. Many of the reading questions are really quite difficult. They, uh, they might give you four choices, for example, and two of them are really both pretty good answers. Only one of them is 100% correct, but there's another one that, oh, it looks correct. And so many people get stuck and they take five, 10 minutes on one question. My advice, my biggest piece of advice for a TOEIC exam is do not do that. Um, I always recommend taking in blank paper to the exam. And let's say you are doing question, I don't know, number 54. And it's one of these questions where you're going, oh, it could be that answer, it could be that answer. Do not spend a long time on it. Simply choose one answer, A for example, choose A and write down on your piece of paper 54. If you finish the exam, come back and look at number 54 again and take your time, okay? But do not take all the time at the start. It is much better to come back to the question if you have time and then work on it. Um, so yes, at the end of the exam, you might have 10, 15 different questions that you weren't 100% sure of, come back. But always mark one answer before you come back. That's another problem that I see people do. Um, they go, oh, I don't know this one. I'm just gonna leave it and I'll come back to it. So they put nothing as their answer. Unfortunately, if they run out of time, well, they have nothing for their answer. If you just put one that you think might be correct, at least then if you run out of time, you'll have a chance of getting the answer correct. Um, sorry for going so long with my five minute Friday today. That was a really good question. Um, so good in fact that I think I might do a two week video. Uh, I might work on that in the next week or two and I will make a how to prepare the TOEIC exam video for this person and for many others I imagine too. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video of course uh, press the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.